Oh, hell of bit, it's your boy Big Bid B, and we back for another edition of Big Bid Business! In today's video, we're discussing the release of a new 2018 fragrance house. It's presented to you by Chris Collins, and the house is called Alchemy of Fragrance. So as I stated in the past, Chris reached out to me back in mid-December to give me the basics of his fragrance line and to see if I was interested in trying it. Long story short, I have him today, and now we are doing the second review from the house, and this one is Harlem Nights. Now I did my initial review of Don Sauvage back, I don't know, a few months ago prior to the house officially launching, but from my understanding the house officially launched, they did their grand open at Burdoff, um, maybe in March, early March, late February, so now it's readily available, so I figured I'd hit you off with this one. So as I've mentioned before, this one, their presentation, man, is very simplistic and nice. It takes like a very minimalistic approach, but the box quality, man, the box one is nice here, man. It has this really good, like, it was a nice box. <laughs> I'm sure he put a lot of work into that one. That's why I felt bad. Sorry, Chris. To me, Harlem Nights is this warm, spicy, sweet, but creamy scent. It has notes of rum, clove, patchouli, sandalwood, musk, and amber. Now, on the opening of Harlem Nights, I believe that the rum and nutmeg in this one not only help deliver on the sweetness, but bring this additional layer of complexity to the fragrance. On the initial spray, I believe this one is strong, but it comes off soft and a bit seductive and mysterious but it does not take away from the manliness of this one. You can still spray this one and smell like a man. From all of the fragrances that I've tried in this fragrance collection, um, I've been extremely impressed with their performance, how well these fragrances were constructed, and the backstory behind them. In fact, I was on a road last week and I had the sampler or discovery pack with me with the fragrances there because again, I don't like to take the bottles with me while I'm on the road. And um, people were really impressed with this so I allowed them to take it because I obviously have the four bottles, the four presentations. Anytime that I can put someone up on a new fragrance and allow them to try it before they go out there and spend their money, man, I'm always for it. Out of the three fragrances that released, I definitely like this one. Um, I also like Dan Sauvage. Those are the two favorites for me. This one here um, definitely comes off if you're not really into rum or alcohol-based fragrances. You might not like this one. This one has like a Killian S type of vibe to me. And and I don't want to like downplay the work that he did with this fragrance at all because I don't think it smells like Killian. Obviously, if you look into his backstory, he had a relationship with Killian and he kind of was like influenced or took some of his teachings and kind of put them together and made it his own. And I, I like this one. I like this one. I like Don Savage a lot. And um, I let people smell this one and they enjoyed it. So to me, this is one of my favorites from the line. This one isn't a cheapie by any means. This one is $160 for, you know, the 50 ml. And like I said, the box was high quality, but you know how I feel about that one. This one is very minimalistic. It's a nice heavy bottle though. I mean, comparatively speaking, if you look at like, a fragrance like this, the bottle is heavier here, and this is 100 ml. So there's definitely some quality to it. I could tell he took his time with it, the notes, everything about this fragrance just smells high quality. Um, obviously, because he did his launch, and I'm just speaking, I might be speaking out of turn here, but I know that the launch of this one was done a bird off, so I'm imagining it can be purchased there, but I know for sure that this one is available at worldofchriscollins.com. On. I know when I talked about the last one, a few of you guys said you were going to go out and try it. Comment below and let me know your thoughts on this one. Have you gotten your nose on it? Um, have you had any experience with this one? I thoroughly enjoyed this fragrance. I think you'll like it. It's not like a designer fragrance at all, man. This is definitely like niche quality. So comment below and let me know your thoughts on this. I'm your boy, Big B. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget, man, comes alive at the nighttime. Go to Harlem and come alive at night. Hit the goddamn bell.